is John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today we're doing a review demo of the Revolta Combinata. Uh, this is a very cool guitar made by, designed by Dennis Fano, and I'm sure most of you guitar nerds out there are familiar with his work, making boutique, high-end, very cool, weird guitars. Uh, and he's partnered up with Eastwood Guitars using their facility and distribution uh, to make them more affordable for all of us us uh, schmoes out there buying guitars who don't have the big bucks to go boutique. This is a very cool guitar and I'll tell you all about it after I tell you about how we're recording it. Um, I've taken a Klotz cable running directly into a Fender Supersonic. Um, we're going between the clean and dirty channel and they're both um, basically flat. We're micing it with a trusty SM57 uh, Sure mic that's going into an Apache Quartet and into Pro Tools. So basically Plugging straight into an amp, blowing and going. Uh, now let me tell you about this guitar. Um, you can see, what I dig about it from the beginning is it's it's kind of got the build of a 53, 54 Les Paul with the wraparound bridge. However, they've made a big improvement because it's it's compensated and the intonation is really solid. Surprisingly, you know, I think about how many guitars I have with tunematics or Tellies or strats or whatever, and I'm tweaking them all the time, constantly adjusting them every time I change strings. But in this one, there's not a hell of a lot of adjustment you can do. I mean, you can move one side out or in, I guess, but it basically is what it is. But what it is is in tune. I just was, you know, playing it during that whole intro thing, and no movement at all. It's and all the way up the neck seems in. So I love that. I love that it's a simple design, basically working on 60, you know, 65 year old technology, but with a slight little tweak to make it really solid. Very cool. Uh, next bit, the P90s, big P90 fan. They're kind of the forgotten pickup. Um, they've sort of fallen into vogue of late, but they're great. They're, you know, not quite some uh, some humbuckers are not very forgiving with clean tones, but these are really nice. Like the neck, just got that jazzy little bit, which I was trying to do on the front, but it really is just a warm. Now sometimes on a humbucker in the neck like that, you're gonna get a little muddy, but so a lot of clarity, even when you roll that tone down. Let's take her on down halfway. So there, way down, very jazzy, right? And 
anyway, great tone. I digress, we'll go through pickets more later on. Other ingredients include a chambered mahogany body. I like that a lot. Again, kind of taking some from, uh, from a little something out of, out of uh, maybe the Les Paul playbook a bit. Some of those early uh, uh, Black Beauties were all mahogany. And I think even some of the standards every now and then came out, but they weren't chambered. This is, and it does give you, maybe that's where that kind of hollow body ish type uh, feeling gets in there. Anyway, very cool. Uh, next is a German top. Uh, I didn't know what that meant, but one of our readers wrote in after the first look and said, a German top is, quote, um, refers to the channel around the outside edge of the top. So I guess that's what they're talking about. Anyway, it's a cool little aesthetic appointment. Maybe it helps. Maybe it feels better than a flat top. I guess so. I get, I get that. Ergonomic or whatever you want to call it. Um, dig the double binding. I like that. Bound neck as well. I like the painted back of the uh, neck. I dig that it's all just this one color. Very cool. Um, look at these huge block mother of pearl inlays. That's gigantic. Um, scale is 25. Uh, very comfortable. 24 frets, nut width is 1.687, a C-shaped neck, um, nickel hardware, Cluson type old school tuners, um, and uh, that's and an ebony fingerboard. So that's those are the basic ingredients. But man, they really did it well. I like that it's just a no fuss, easy guitar. One uh, one volume, one tone. One switch right there and wrap around. So why don't I just play a little bit, I'll quit yakking and you can hear what it does. We spent some time on the neck uh, in, the, in the clean position, but let's put a little dirt on it and see what we get. <laughs> a pretty good woman tone anyway great sound uh, and also this neck is really comfortable and the setup is good solid uh, let me go to the bridge now we're gonna try a little bit of clean see I love that tone it's almost like a big telly right kind of just snappy <laughs> having that E way up there, huh? Anyway, great. Put them both together. What do you got? 
That's a nice tone. Kind of jangly, right? That is really jangly. So there it is. Those are the basics on the Rivolta Combinata, which is combining Dennis Fano and Eastwood. Very cool guitar. Read all about it at premierguitar.com. And while you're online, make sure you like us on Facebook. Subscribe to our huge YouTube channel. Check out Instagram, Twitter, all that social media crap. We've got hours of guitar geekery waiting for you. This is John Bolger. Until next time. forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.